then The Celebrity Apprentice returns next month. You know what? There's going to be a new leader in the boardroom, former California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's taking over for President-elect Donald Trump, who is an executive producer on the show. By the way, it's a program owned and produced by MGM that airs on NBC. Governor, good to see you. Good morning. Good to see you. Could you have ever imagined that there would be so much attention around this show and so much extra drama? Could you have thought of this a year ago? No, not at all. As a matter of fact, a year ago, I didn't even think, or more than a year ago, I didn't even think when I watched The Apprentice that Trump would ever leave that show because I always loved watching the show. And I said to myself, darn it, why don't I have a show like that? Because it's the kind of thing that I would like to do, reality TV. I've never done it before. And then all of a sudden, bang, there he was announcing for presidency off the show. And I immediately called Mark Burnett and I said, hey, what about me? I would like to replace him. I think you, look, you seem like a great pick. He has announced he's going to retain his executive producer credit. So after January 20th, he's going to be president of the United States and executive producer of The Celebrity Apprentice. Does that sound right to you? Well, what was great about it was is that he uh, was part of the negotiation. So, I mean, I get millions of dollars for hosting the show, but NBC doesn't have to pay for it. Trump makes Mexico pay for it. I mean, isn't that great? I mean, that was the best deal that he's ever done. I set you up for that. That was my fault. <laughs> That's true, yeah. He's, he says he's going to spend zero time on the show. He's going to focus, obviously, on the presidency. But would you be surprised if you got a call mid-season and said, look, Arnold, I have a couple of tips for you? Well, I always like to get advice. But I don't think that he would have time. I think it's perfectly fine that he has the executive producer credit notice because he uh, created the show with Mark Burnett together. So why should this credit go? I, I totally see that. But he made it very clear that he has no interest in being involved. Uh, it is now my show. I'm the host. I'm the new boss. And I'm going to run this show. But anytime he has advice or anyone has advice, if you call me one day, say, look, I saw the show. If you would add so-and-so as a celebrity, I would take your advice. What's your what's your relationship with him like? Famously, during the campaign, you said you could not support him. After that now infamous Access Hollywood tape surface, you tweeted, Quote, for the first time since I became a citizen in 1983, I will not vote for the Republican candidate for president. And you encouraged other Republicans to put country over party. Have you changed your mind based on anything you've seen during the transition? Well, what changed was that now he is elected. And now it is very important that we all support the president, that we all come together and we stop whining. And it becomes one nation because it's not, less, as Obama said many years ago, it's not blue states and red states. It's the United States of America. And there's a great letter that I just dug up uh, the other day that President Bush at the first wrote to President-elect Clinton. And he said that I'm in my office right now and I just want you to know that I respect this office and I respect that you won and you are my president. And I want you to be very successful, because if you are successful, then the country is successful. And this is exactly what I feel about Trump. And that's what I felt about Obama or anybody. When someone is elected, then you go 100 percent behind them and you help them and to help them shape it's the future of the country. It's not unfortunately how Washington works No, sometimes. no, I mean, it's not. But that's the ideal. It doesn't always work like that. And it's very hard for people to do that. But that's what that's the effort that we all have to make. And I'm 100 percent behind him. And I want to do everything that I can to help. But it's, as you also know, is I'm an environmentalist. Right. And so to me, it's very important that at the same time, and it was one of the reasons why I couldn't go with Trump, is because I want to make sure that we're going into a clean environment, into a clean future, because that's what we did in California. And we proved in California, by rolling back our greenhouse gases 25 percent, and by going green, we still have a better GDP growth than the whole United you States has. You still speak like a politician. And during the campaign, you said, were you eligible, you might have run. Do you think you could have won, at least in the primaries? That you never know. I mean, with politics, I mean, that, 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 you saw what happened this last year. Everything that people predict that didn't happen and all the kind of thing, it, it, it turns everything upside down. Look, I ran in California and I won easily uh, because I was an outsider at that time and they looked for an outsider. And the same happened with Trump. They looked for an outsider. People are very upset of what's going on in this country, that both of the parties cannot come together. And they hope and pray that this guy, this Trump, can bring both of the parties together and hopefully does not run it as a Republican administration, but run it as, you know, Democrats and Republicans coming together. Because it's the only way you can you create true You think he's a true action. Republican? It doesn't matter. You have to be an end a 
public servant, not a party servant. I hope he is not a straight Republican. I hope that he's a public servant, that he sees himself serving Democrats and Republicans. Mm -hmm. That's the important thing. And the important thing also is that every press conference he holds, very important here, Matt, that he talks about the celebrity apprentice. And he says, <laughs> watch yeah. Schwarzenegger as nice the turn. new host. He is a stud. Okay. He looks fantastic on the show. That is what is the important thing on he this He may whole actually thing. say that. He at he least could will tweet be. it, I'm sure. I'm going to call him and remind him. You know what it's like to make the transition from business and entertainment to politics. So offer him a piece of advice. You talked about advice in the other direction. What's the most important thing he needs to know about the world of politics that he might not know? I think the most important thing, as I said, is that to keep working with the other party, to bring Democrats and Republicans and independents and decline to stand, they stay all of the people together because on the end, you do not want to just take from the poor of Republicans because only, you only get then 50 percent of the brain power of the United States. If you take people from both parties, then you get 100 percent of the brain power. And let me tell you something. There is so much brain power in the United States. This is by far the smartest country in the world and the best country in the world. Now the trick of it is to go and make it even better. What an optimistic take on things. He had a famous line at the end of The Apprentice every night, you're fired, kind of made a living off of that. Have you thought, what is your famous line going to be in the boardroom? Well, it could be, you're terminated. Or, hasta la vista, baby. Or, hit the road. Yeah. Or, Consider this a divorce. Oh, get to the <laughs> chopper! You know, it, could be, it could be any of and those how, things. And how long do you think it will be after you say to that first contestant, hasta la vista, until he looks you right in the eye and says, I'll be back? That's a cool line. <laughs> <laughs> and I like the way you do that with the accent. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger, Governor, yeah. it's nice to see you. Good so luck you with good the Celebrity you. Apprentice. Thank you. And we want to mention it premieres Monday night, January 2nd, right here on NBC.